Hey there everyone. I'm back with another quick video. Last video I did a kind of complicated thing here with a cylinder coming out. I want to show how you can carve out kind of other geometric shapes um, from your basic cube. Um, that's maybe not as complicated as this. So it's not gonna be anything growing or coming out of anything. It's just me carving away at this. So again, I already have um, my kind of rectangular prism in two point perspective. And I'm gonna focus on either one of the two sides that I want to kind of change up. And all I'm going to do is I'm gonna make a triangle. So if I want to make it kind of an isosceles triangle, which means that these two angles are equal, um, what I can do is do that trick by finding the center point. Now, if you just want to do an, a regular old triangle, you don't have to do this, but I'm gonna make it a little more special. Oh, well, it'd be helpful if I actually went to the corner. Is it going to the vanishing point? <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. So our trick, is going corner to corner diagonally to create that center point. And then on the vertical, line up that center right there, okay? And then that way I can kind of draw my triangle and I'll erase these guidelines now. So we basically use the same idea, but I only have to find one point. I don't have, I'm not making a circle, so I don't need all of the edges. I'm just kind of focusing on that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw out my triangle. Going from the kind of that point that I created to the original corners. And then I can erase out because I carved it away. It's like I kind of took a chisel to it and just carved it away. Don't leave this. I'll leave this for now, just as a reminder that we we don't what not to do, but we'll leave it there for a moment. Now this, any line that goes back in space is always going to the vanishing point. And obviously it's not gonna to go to this vanishing point. That'd be awful weird. It This side is going to that vanishing point. So it's gonna line up. It's almost, like it's gonna look like kind of the roof of a house without the house. Okay, now if I left my cutoff, the original vertical, it's really weird. Remember our cutoffs, we did this in one point perspective, are always parallel to the original edge. I'm gonna erase this just a little bit more. Still there, but you know. So here is my original edge keeping it at that angle, whatever it may be. I slide, 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 slide. I might actually do it this way so I can still see it. Slide and slide and slide and slide. Trying to keep it, oh, there it is. And then you're gonna erase all that extra. We don't need that. Okay. I'll make this one a little bit darker because I think it got erased slightly. Again, when I mentioned in the other video, whenever, even if you're darkening lines, make sure it's following the rules of perspective and going back to the vanishing point. Don't darken it unless it is. And now we have that floating triangular prism. Told you it'd be quick. Bye guys.